Okay, this looks way, way, way too important. I gotta go look at the rest of the city first. I don't want to keep walking this way or I'm, I'm gonna miss something very important or something. I don't know. And down here. And this leads me back out to the other side of the city, I'm assuming. It looks like I can unlock this door. Well, where the heck am I now? Okay, was I right? Is this the other side of the city? Oh, hey there. You have a lot of fish. Yeah, I'm worried about them. Oh, I heard something about how the square particle stuff just took out a major pipeline. I guess I should take advantage of the running water while I still can. Nope, not looking forward to that water shortage. Hmm. I was seeing if I could help him, but sadly I could not. I'll keep my light bulb equipped. Hello! Evening news! Evening news! Are you here to purchase a copy? No. Newspapers are for grown ups! Grown ups? Yeah! What does that mean? It means people who aren't kids! Kids? Er, aren't you a kid? I am a robot. Right. Okay. Alright. Strange, but I guess that was a conversation we just had. Huh? Am I actually all the way back here? I sure am. Weird. I am now confuzzled. Oh well, let's just run up. All the way up. And then here we are at the other area with the guy in the water and I can check that bottom left. Yes, I didn't check in here. There's a slot here. Looks like paper or something might come out of it. It didn't do anything. Hmm. Is there anything else I could put in here? My strange journal doesn't? Oh! Huh. No, wait. Okay, we gotta think. I guess that wasn't the right combination, Scooch. Maybe I gotta do it by... Huh. The oval one... They need to give me some sort of a sign or something. Hmm. Huh. I don't know. I'll deal with this later because I don't think I'm supposed to figure this out yet. Or maybe I am. Huh. There's, there's, there's not even that many combinations if I want to just try to... Never mind. This is going to take years. <laughs> I'm just gonna go keep looking around for a little bit. And maybe a computer will tell me. Let's go to the bottom left. Ba bum! Maybe something important over here. Hello? Why do you sound all scary? A scientist. The luminescence index of liquid red phosphor decreased by a factor of 3.57 this past week. Alarming to say the least, that's the sharpest decline I've seen, and the number is only increasing. We will have to further concentrate the phosphor now, for it to be of any use. It's hard to believe, but there's a good chance the city could run out of light in as little as six months. What are we going to do? Bunch of words on the screen, I don't understand any of it. Same, Nico, same. Don't feel bad about that, because I am also a big dummy. Let's go over here. 
In order to gain further access to the labs, you must pass the security system test. The... huh? You must change the color of the lights in a specific configuration. Allow me. Access to not what? Wait. All right. I'm going to do this. One light's correct. Okay. So the left one's correct. Three lights correct. Okay. So I'm gonna try to change this one. That was yellow, right? That was yellow and these two are red. All right, yellow, green, red. God damn it. It was yellow, green, red. Four lights correct. Yellow, green, red. Okay. All right, this one's red for sure. Four lights correct, maybe this one. What the fuck? Is that has to be it. There we go, ha, ah, yikes. Is there a bed in here? Uh-oh! My robot! What happened? I don't know! I left for a minute and... Please do not approach. What am I gonna do? Uh-oh! Robots are dying! That's not good. That's not good. These robots are malfunctioning at a frightening rate. Physical damage from square particle anomalies is almost impossible to revert. No living person can touch them, unless they have a death wish. But if we're lucky, sometimes the squares go away on their own. But not before taking away one of the robot's arms or legs, or head. Okay. I can barely keep my eyes open, man. How does Dr. Silverpoint get all that energy? None of us have been sleeping very well in light of recent events. The square particles took out a few of my robots last week and... She fell asleep. She fell asleep standing up holding coffee. Huh, I wonder what the author would do in this situation. Dr. Silverpoint usually references his works. Where's Dr. Silverpoint, in here? Hello? What? Oh, shoot. If I had known you would be here so soon, I would have turned off the system. Hello there. Sorry about the weird security measures. It's okay. Scooch helped me solve it. Did they now? So, can I help you with anything? Yeah, where's the library? The library? That's all the way on the other side of town. The fastest route is where you take the shortcut through the back alley, but I think that's how we got here, actually. Oh, good. You should head back that direction and walk east a bit. You'll find it eventually. Thank you. Something is poking out of the shelf. It's a tube of glitter glue. You can have that if you want. Never know when you need glitter to glitter things up, right? Oh, are you sure? Yeah, I have tons of those. Thank you. So, you've been walking all over the world, huh? Mm-hmm. Geez, I can't imagine. Do you get tired? Do you get really tired sometimes? Also, I'm gonna say that the robot from the beginning, the engineer, was made in this girl's image. Whoever this girl is. Maybe Silverpoint. Kinda. But I don't mind. It's actually really pretty. Haha, -ha, I'm glad you think so. Even with the sun gone, the world is still a beautiful place. Where did the- what did the world look like with the sun? Oh. Uh. You know, it's kind of embarrassing to admit how little of it I have actually seen. Oh? Ironic, isn't it? Even though I'm the world's leading researcher, that is Silverpoint. All I do is stay here and build robots. They're the ones exploring the world. I just write down the data, crunch numbers, and generate graphs. Right. I've been seeing robots everywhere. I just thought it was because the world was too dangerous for most people to explore. That's not far from the truth, actually. But I know someone who still does his research firsthand. Oh? Even after segments of land started collapsing and access to more remote areas became difficult? I mean, he outright built a machine that could fly. 
Something we all thought was not physically possible. Oh, that's... I asked him about working with us, so he provides us with all sorts of insights from time to time. But for some reason, he really didn't want to build robots. Or more specifically, coding them. How come? Beats me. I mean, he's happy to work with robots. In fact, he even... Ah, it's been a while since we last talked. He must be busy with his books now. Yeah. I'm gonna try something. Oh? Uh-oh. Th that's... He died. How did you get this? This robot lady in the Barrens gave it to me. She looked kind of like you. I see. <sighs> it was supposed to be such a breakthrough, you know? I even based her on myself so I'll know it works. Breakthrough? We wanted a robot. We wanted to build a robot that acts like a person, thinks like a person. A robot that isn't bound by its own code. Oh. But it turns out, you can't really build something like that. Too many contradictions in the code made her unstable. That was the only time I've ever seen a robot go rogue. Scariest day of my life, I'll tell you what. Rogue? But she seemed so nice when we talked. Even if she talked a little weird. Ah, she's been repaired for, for some time now. My friend was able to stabilize her volatile state through his own means. A real miracle worker that after he he was through, she ended up turning out just like how I wanted. But the damage was already done. I gave up on her back then. We all did. I'm sure she realized that. And now she won't ever come back. She won't even answer my letters. I'm sorry. Ah, sorry for rambling. You should hold on to that amber, okay? I will. Oh, okay, I thought wrong. Okay, I thought that she built a robot to accompany him and then he died, so he gave it to her. Oh, thank God. It's a bookshelf. <laughs> I can see that, Nico. I can see that. Did I already check leftwards? Do you guys have a bed in here? There sure are a lot of computers here, and they all look important. The Baron's engineer just reported another sighting of particles in the clip area. Well, nothing unusual at this point. There's a typo! There's a typo! This game gets a 1 out of 10. No, I'm just kidding, but I just never see that. I'm picking up some more disruptions in Sector 8 of the city. This is consistent with our earlier findings. Not good at all. Not good at all. I want to press all the buttons, but I must resist. <laughs> uh, those square particles just took out two of my robots in the Glen. We might have to put off the water analysis project for now. Monitoring, monitoring. Okay, I think I checked enough of this. I think I checked enough of this out. This guy's robot got booty blasted. Can't uh, do anything about that. And off we go. Downwards. And did I check the right? It may help you to go one color at a time. Management. Oh, is that for the color test? Beep boop. This is the printer room where my where machine parts are made. Also, robots. It can also help to write down previous attempts. If all else fails, wait for the puzzle to reset. Maybe you'll get an easier one next time. Okay. Well, that puzzle test, I kind of lucked my way through. I forgot who it was that wrote this comment, but I think it's one of my favorite comments ever. And they said, I have a superpower where I don't know what the heck is going on when I play games, but somehow I luck my way through everything. And that right there was a completely clear example of me doing that. I totally lucked my way through that. Whoopsie daisy. Maybe there's a bed in the library. Huh. Huh. Maybe, just maybe. <clears throat> Gotta go all the way east. All the way east. Oh, no. Nope. Wrong way. Okay, I gotta go downwards more to go easter. To go more eastward. I still gotta find the order of the lenses. <clears throat> a curious marking on the wall. It looks like a ram. Huh. As east as possible. As east as the eyes can see. And the library should be over here. This is the library. You look different. When the world ends... Would it be better if it was gone in an instant or slowly fading away? To be honest, I'd rather the former. Same. 
I think everyone would, if you think about it. Because if it's gone in an instant, you, you don't have to deal with the pain of, of famine and, and everything falling apart. Um, because this is going to sound really pessimistic, but if it's all going to go away, wouldn't you want to not experience the pain that comes with that? What? Well, well, I, I didn't say anything. Well, stop staring at me then. I was just looking at your book. Yes, you are in a library. There's books in the library. Um, go bug the chatty one upstairs. The author's books cover a wide range of topics. It seems there are no subjects he does not write about. Quite the Renaissance man, don't you think? I guess so. But he's been focusing on documenting the world as of late. Oh? They say this city is the last bastion of civilization. Soon, these books may be the only thing we have to remember the rest of the world by. Ah. I'm gonna leave the, the sun equipped. Ugh. Oh, hello, do you need directions? Let's see. The area here is mostly historical accounts. The reference section is downstairs, and uh, I'm not sure what the children's section is. Sorry. That's okay. I'm not really looking for books. Oh, are you here to look for the author then? No? Oh, that's good. Er, I mean, that means you won't be disappointed. I've been volunteering here for months, and I've never seen him. Not even once. He works together with the head of the head librarian on publishing, so you'd think he would at least show up once in a while. But he doesn't? Yeah, he seems kind of reclusive. Which is weird for a guy who supposedly travels the world. Maybe it's just around people. Uh, books are neatly placed on a shelf. I mean, I don't think many people have ever seen him in person. Or know what he looks like. Everyone's heard of him through secondhand accounts, though. Oh, but he did reply to my letter that one time. I got it framed immediately. Nice. Hopefully one day he'll show up. Okay, well, there goes that entire dialogue tree. Can I bug this person again? He just glared at me. I think we should... I don't think we should bother him, Scooch. I wonder what happens if I keep bothering him. <laughs> that guy is really mean. Can I sleep somewhere? Where are all the beds? Yep, still scared of ladders. Hello, person. Hi. Reshelving in progress. Please watch out for potential falling books. I will. <laughs> I like how he always says, I will. He's always so enthusiastic, you know, and I love that about Nico. Some sort of plaque. Okay. Books are placed neatly on the shelf. I don't have room for anything. I gotta get rid of these, uh, these lenses. The author is so cool. I heard he could travel uh, all over the world with a flying machine. That's how he gathers material for his books. Wow. Does he have a plane? Does he have a wacky Dr. Seuss invention thing? A big book with a black cover on it. The title says, Emergence of New Ecological Niches in a Post-Sun World. Phosphor shrimp, also known as seed shrimp, in certain vernaculars due to the shape of their transparent coat. These aquatic, these aquatic invertebrates are the most abundant life form in the ocean surrounding the barrens. Common firefly, a nocturnal beetle with a vibrant glow, sometimes captured in mass and put in jars used as living lamps by the Glen's residents. This has inspired the now common practice of using foster shrimp to do the same. Cool. That's pretty interesting. Let's see what's in this one. A big book with a black cover on it. That's a cover. A complete comprehensive guide to phosphors. Uh, as a general rule, if a phosphor loses its glow entirely, it cannot be relit until exposed to the sun. If the phosphor is merely dim, it may be possible to boost it through exposure to another phosphor of high energy. But even so, the boosted phosphor will never return to its original brightness. Blue Phosphor. Out of the common phosphors, blue phosphor is of moderate levels of energy. It can exist in both organic and mineral forms. The mineral form is the most commonly found in the, is mo the bleh, is most commonly found in the metallic sand of the barrens. The organic form is most commonly found in phosphor shrimp and their secretions. Although the light emission of blue phosphor is powerful, it has what I would describe as self-conserving properties. That is to say, the glow may not be consistent. Uh, most forms of blue phosphor will stop glowing if left undisturbed for a long period of, for long periods of time. If using blue phosphor to power machines, a motor should be set at a baseline level of activity to ensure constant agitation of the phosphor. Alternatively, light phosphor shrimp can be used. Out of the three common phosphors, green phosphor is, is of the highest energy. It is also the rarest of the common phosphors, it, as it actually can only be found in organic form. 
Known sources include the sap of phosphor trees, fireflies, and various mosses. Although this phosphor is present in the ubiquitous ground-covering moss in the glen, it is only in mi minute amounts and almost impossible to concentrate. Green phosphor is ideal for industrial use, however, due to its relative scarcity and past over harvesting there is currently no reliable source thankfully at least locals of the glen still have enough to get by red phosphor <laughs> Out of the common phosphors, red phosphor is the lowest in energy. It exists exclusively in mineral form and can only give light when in solution. The, the dilute red phosphor abundant in the city's wa water channels can be concentrated and induced with currents. This can create an artificial high energy state with greater luminosity. One major caveat is that the phosphor in this supersaturated solution will precipitate out rather quickly. As soon as the phosphor recrystallizes, it loses its glow permanently. If using su supersaturated red phosphor as a power source, make sure there are proper facilities or services that can replace it frequently. Huh, that was a fucking mouthful. I am done reading. The author publishes books at a highly accelerated, almost inhumane pace. In fact, uh, he has put out more books in one year than most authors do in a lifetime. According to the head librarian, there is still a large amount of material he has written, but not yet published. One cannot help but to wonder where he can get so much done in, a little, in such little time. I did the calculations and the numbers simply do not add up. Maybe he can stop time? No such mechanism exists in this world. Is that actually possible in your home dimension? Nah, I just saw it in a movie once. About superheroes and stuff. <laughs> so what do you think about the author? I don't know. Have you read his stuff yet? If not, you should. Last person. Huh. Guys, I'm getting fatigued. There's so much to read. My mouth, it can't read all this. Excuse me. Oh, you are the Messiah. Welcome. When I first entered the city, a big robot told me to look for the library on the surface. This is the same library, right? Affirmative. Oh, goody. Well, we're here. What do we do now? The big robot only said there'd be clues here. That is a question for the head librarian, George. Allow me to call her. I'm like out of breath from all that reading. She is not picking up. Is she not here? She is here. She is in the archival room upstairs. When she is concentrating her, on her work, she will ignore any and all phone calls for several days. Yikes. Can you go up and can you go get her in person then? Leaving this post is not in my programming. Then can I go myself? Of course. The archival room is accessible through the stairwell behind me. Gotcha. Thanks. I need a bed. I'm so tired. Unauthorized entry. Library card required for further access. Wait, what? Library card required for further access. I don't have a library card, though. Where can I get one? This is a question for the head librarian, George. She is not picking up. I figured. Are you sure you can't just let me through? Letting you through without a library card is against my programming. What? Even in an emergency? My programming is not flexible. <laughs> I have not been tamed. Ah. God damn it. <laughs> I'm, only, I'm on my third cup. I can't feel my limbs. Um, but I have to stay awake. I need to find out how this book ends. Ah. Uh. Curse the author and his beautiful cliffhangers. Guys, I just want to, I just want to sleep. <laughs> Please, give me a bed. Um, what are you doing to that book? Don't worry, these are my, my own books that I wrote. I just pulled them off the shelves to modify them. I have to cross out some sections. Most sections. Eh, how come? Because otherwise they'll think I copied him. Him? The author. I mean... I really don't see the point of writing anything anymore. The author is just gonna write about the same thing, and then everyone will love it. And nobody's gonna remember the books that I came out that came out before his. Oh, uh, I mean, I ain't hating. I can see why people go nuts over his stuff. The guy's got major talent, but it just hurts, you know. 
And it's never fun when people call you a copycat for something you wrote about first. Uh, I can see that. People call me a cat all the time. Even though I'm a person, and cats are pets. And Mausers. I'm sure, I sure hope people don't think I eat mice. Eh, uh, then I guess we're in the same boat, kiddo. <sighs> a computer, it's currently off. Hello? Can I please, can I please leave? I need, I need a bed! Oh, 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 travel. The elevator goes back up to the catwalks. We'll need to press the button if we want to go back up. Maybe we could use the other bed. I'm a genius. Mm-hmm. I like Nico so much. He's so great. He is actually one of my favorite characters I've played in a game so far. I'm trying to go to my east real quick, because we're going to see if we can give her the medicated water so that she doesn't dry out. ta -da! Excuse me, excuse me. My east, I'm here. I'm here, my east. Good thinking, Scooch. This water should really help this seed grow. It sprouted a tiny leaf. Good luck, little plant. Okay. Well, my yeast is regrowing. So that's good. Hopefully she'll be okay. Now that we gave it water that doesn't dry out, or now that it doesn't ever, it's never gonna need water again, that should be enough, right? Maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. God, my hair looks ridiculous. Okay, let's go down into the left. Yes, a bed. Finally. Nico, you can take a nap. We should get going, Scooch. Suck my whole ass, Nico. I'm ending the episode here. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, or do whatever you can to remind me that I'm awesome because I think that you're awesome and you have an awesome base and I hope you have an awesome day. Until the next episode, I'm seeing, I will see you again. Ah, my brain is fried.